everyone! I'm really excited to be filming today because I have a makeup tutorial for you all and those are always one of my favorite things to film and I don't feel like I get to do enough of them. So today I'm going to be showing you how to create a look that was inspired by what Lizzie Kaplan, who is currently in Masters of Sex, wore to the Emmy this past Monday. I thought she looked absolutely beautiful. I think she actually made a few lists for kind of best overall look, best dress. She just looked great and she was wearing a very classic smoky eye. And when I did some Googling, I believe that I read that a Dior makeup artist did her look and they used a lot of Dior on her. But like most people, I don't own much Dior, if any. I actually own one Dior product. So I used more affordable things. And what's really exciting for me in this video that you will see, one sec, is that for the eyeshadows, all that I used was the Naked Basics palette. And by now you guys know that I just continue and continue to sing this palette um, praises. It's probably my most used favorite palette. I think when I got it, it was $27. Urban Decay may have raised the price, but it's definitely no more than 30 and it's just so versatile. So I wanted to show that you can create a very classic sultry smoky eye using just this palette because I think a lot of people think of just very neutral, basic, everyday looks when they see it. So that is enough talking for now. Let's go ahead and get into the tutorial where I will walk you through how to create this really classic, beautiful smoky eye. I have already applied my foundation and eyebrow products which I will list below for you and I'm going to be starting out this tutorial with my Naked Basics palette and like I said this is going to be the only eyeshadow that we're going to be using. Starting with the color Naked and a big fluffy Sigma E40 brush I am just buffing this through my crease to create a really nice transition color for all of the other colors we'll be using. Taking the Maybelline Color Tattoo in their leather line in the color Chocolate Suede, I am just buffing this all over my mobile eyelid, so you're not going to want to take this past your crease, and this is just going to act as a base for all of our shadows. Using a dark color like this when creating a smoky eye really helps with that blown out smoky effect. And as you can see, I just used my finger to further buff out the edges so there are no harsh lines. And I'm using the product that is left on the brush to drag under my lower lash line. Taking the color Faint from the Naked Basics palette and an angled shadow brush from Sigma, I am just starting to work this all over the area where we put down that Maybelline tattoo base. And I'll start working it up towards my crease because we're going to be blending it up in a second with a blending brush. So switching to that blending brush, this is a MAC 217, I am taking a little bit more of faint on the brush and then just further blending out that dark color on the lid. Again, blending is key in any smoking eye. You want everything to look just very seamless, no harsh lines, and that the colors are just kind of fading out into a light smoke. Next, using any clean brush, go ahead and pick up the color Venus from the palette and apply this under your brow bone to highlight and blend it down into where those other colors end so they meet up together. And then in a second, I'm just going to apply some of this to the inner corners of my eye to brighten up that area just a little bit. Switching back to my large blending brush, which is the Sigma E40, I am just going to blend some more and like I said, just make sure everything is seamless, there are no harsh lines, etc, etc. Next, go ahead and tight line your upper lash line just so that your lashes are nice and full and dark at the base. Now going in with a flat definer brush and the color Crave from the palette, just go ahead and press this into your upper lash line as close to the base of your lashes as possible and this is just going to darken up that area making it appear fuller, thicker, and smokier. Thank you. 
Use whatever is left on your brush and just buff this into your lower lash line just to create a little definition on the outer third or half of your lashes. I'm now going to go in with my Rimmel Cole Kajal in the color taupe and run this along my waterline. Then you can go ahead and buff out your lower lash line with a little bit more of the shade Naked. Next I'm going in with my lash curler to curl my lashes and give them a little lift and this is very helpful at really opening up your eyes. Here I am going in and applying my L'Oreal Miss Manga Mascara very generously. I did not want to use false lashes for this look, but of course you can if you want to. Or you can just use several coats of your mascara to create a really nice length to your lashes and give them some extra volume. To finish off the rest of the face, I am going to go in with my Body Shop Honey Bronzer in the shade number 3 and just lightly contour my face and also just give the skin a little bit more warmth by blending it up onto my cheeks. Now I'm blending just a touch of blush onto my cheeks and blending it back towards my temple. I am using the color Deep Throat from NARS. For a highlight, I am using that only Dior product that I own that I spoke about earlier, and this is the Amber Diamond Highlighter. I actually believe this is discontinued, unfortunately, but use any highlighter you have and sweep it onto your cheekbones and up towards your brow bone as well. Using a large stippling brush, here I am just buffing everything out so it's all seamless and smooth. Last but not least is lips and I am starting out by lining my lips with the Milani lip pencil in the color nude and I am going to line my lips for definition and then go ahead and fill in my entire lip with the color. Last but not least is going to be a little gloss and I am using the Bare Minerals Marvelous Moxie Gloss in the shade Rebel. And this is the final look. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video and that you have an easy time recreating this look. It truly is just a classic smoky eye and I hope you enjoy it. As always be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe and I will see you all soon. Bye!